university to simply fulfill our outreach missions, not only to our constituents, but also for the general sake of humanity at large. In the 21st century, universities will increasingly be looked upon as engines of discovery and an important means of transforming new technologies into economic benefits. This role might contribute to economic and social well-being at various levels to include local, regional, national, and international. But most importantly, economic sustainability is at the heart of, of addressing the global problems that I've been talking about. Wealth in excess of that required to assure a reasonable level of social well-being will be required. Again, going back to my NSF days, ministers of science and education from countries around the world frequently visited me. I routinely, routinely asked them about their research investment priorities. Before the current world recession, they responded, Nanotechnology, biotechnology, information technology, the holy trinity of emerging technologies, without much deviation. However, after the recession was well underway, their priorities shifted, again without much deviation, to innovation and entrepreneurship. And that's the world movement today. Throughout the world, developing nations are accelerating their investments in new universities in research and development and technology parks, which juxtapose universities with business development centers to facilitate technology transfer as rapidly as possible. Companies throughout the world are also learning that as a lead time for developing new products for the marketplace contracts, acquiring technology know-how by recruiting savvy university postgraduates may be more effective than other modes of transfer. Tom Friedman captured public attention with his book, The World is Flat. I would argue that the world is spiky due to differences in technological, economic, and social factors which can impede progress in bringing new technologies into the marketplace. However, I also agree with Alexis Ohanian, co-founder of reddit.com, that the world isn't flat, but the World Wide Web is. He argues that by investing $10 on a URL, building a website, and testing a new business concept on the internet through social networking are fast, low-cost ways for inventing a new business in the information technology age. So skills and innovation and entrepreneurship can be important for future college graduates. Recent findings show that a significant percentage of college graduates in the world today will have difficulty after graduation in both finding a job or a career of their choice. Their options may be between using their time to find a job or to invent a job. The latter option is where acquiring innovation and entrepreneurial skills as a part of their education experience comes in. <clears throat> 